Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we're going to be freeze drying yogurt and milk. Now the whole idea here is to have a supply of either or in the future if we ever need it. Milk, you just, once it's freeze dried it turns into a powder obviously and you just add water and you have yourself milk. Yogurt's the same principle but we're going to be using this powdered yogurt after we freeze dry it of course um, to make more yogurt in the future. All right, so let me uh, show you how we get things ready here. Put it in the freeze dryer and we'll see how it all comes out. Now to make our yogurt, we're gonna use an Instant Pot and we're gonna put a gallon and a half of whole organic milk in there. Now you wanna hit the yogurt until you see boil. Now with ultra pasteurized milk, you don't need to boil it, you just need to warm it up. But with regular pasteurized milk, you do need to boil it. After that, you wanna let it cool down to about 100 or 105 Fahrenheit. Now we're ready to add our yogurt starter. You can use the yogurt from your last batch or you can go out and buy plain yogurt and that will work great. And now you want to put it back in the Instant Pot. And select Yogurt. And we like doing 8 hours. So after the 8 hours, our yogurt is done. And we're adding 3 cups of that yogurt into the trays. And we did 2 trays like this. And both of those trays of yogurt went into the freezer. And for the last two trays, we're adding three cups of whole milk per tray. And we're going to let this freeze overnight in the freezer. All right, so now we have to turn the machine on. Hit start. We're gonna select frozen because our food is frozen. We're gonna check our drain valve, make sure that's closed. And then hit yes. Now when the chamber gets to 30 degrees, we can insert the food. Alright, now we can load our food. We got our two top layers of milk and the two bottom ones are um, yogurt. So the milk here is frozen solid. I'll tell you what, we'll put the milk on top. And the yogurt we'll put on the two bottom ones. So I just got done loading the food and of course I waited too long and and these freeze dryers, if you wait too long, they shut down when it gets to about around 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that way they don't constantly keep running. If that happens, if it immediately shuts down and you're ready to start it again, it's best to wait about five minutes before doing so. That way your start capacitor can recharge on the uh, um, refrigeration uh, pump and um, it, it'll be able to restart if you wait about five minutes. So I waited about five minutes and we're ready to start. And push start. All right, it's loaded, it's running. 
and uh, we'll see you back here when this is done. All right, the freeze drying is done. It took 33 hours. We're gonna let the uh, air back into the chamber. Let's take the yogurt out first. Okay. Wow, that's like very fluffy. Okay, let me uh, put these on the table here. Give you a close up. All right, it's gonna ask you here if you need more dry time. I'm gonna put uh, no and complete. I'm gonna shut this off. Make sure the drain's open, of course, and the, leave the door open. All right, let me give you a close up of what this looks like. These two here are the milk. And these two here are the yogurts. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to put everything in Mylar bags, mark it, of course, oxygen absorbers, and seal them up. I'm gonna take a small portion of uh, yogurt out. We're gonna reconstitute it and make more yogurt out of that. So now we're gonna take our small portion out I think it was roughly a quarter cup and we want to see how well this turns out after it's reconstituted and used as a starter how well the yogurt will come out then we'll put that into a small bowl add about a quarter cup of water and kind of whisk it in and it actually mixed fairly well. Uh, it took less than a minute. Then we'll add that to the uh, milk that's already been warmed up to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And you want to make sure you mix that very well with the milk. And we'll set this for eight hours and we'll see how it comes out. All right, it's been eight hours. Let's see how it came out. All right, let's take the cover off. Check that out. That is awesome. We have yogurt. Beautiful. Let's taste it. Oh yeah, it's good. It's very, very good. Very good. Now, in the future, we can have yogurt whenever we want. We have powdered milk. Great for camping, emergency, you know, whatever. Um, so that's, that's a very good thing. Um, we also have the rest. This is the milk. This is two trays of milk here. And this here is two trays of the yogurt. Pretty cool. All that yogurt fits in here and the milk. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. You can freeze dry your own yogurt and milk. It's pretty cool how this, how the uh, bacteria, the cultures survive through all that vacuum and the cold and all that. It's just incredible. And then you put them in the warm milk and they just wake up again and uh, start working again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah make your own yogurt and uh, milk in the future with freeze-dried yogurt and milk all right guys so thank you for watching please like subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.